This is my Bamboo Labs 3D printer, and I noticed something didn't look right here. There's a huge gap between the shaft and the inside diameter of the bearing. Originally there was a silicone bushing installed here, but the radial forces were so great that it split the bushing in half, and the sleeve portion of the bushing got squished out the bottom. This is what the other side looks like with the bushing intact, and this is the bushing itself. As you can see with the bushing removed, the shaft is still centered in the bearing on this side of the machine. On the other side, the shaft is always off-center in the bearing. The silicone bushing might be there to account for some shaft wobble or some whipping, but with the bushing removed and the shaft being in hard contact with the bearing, it's no longer allowed to float. To figure out where this misalignment is coming from, I clamped on a straight edge onto the bearing carrier, and I used another straight edge to extrapolate that edge across to the other side of the machine to see if that was the source of the misalignment. And it does seem like this left side has some angular offset. Just to compare, I did the same thing for the other side. And this side is dead nuts straight. Here's a drawing of the ideal situation where the two bearing carriers are aligned and the straight edge can verify that. And here's what it looks like in my situation where the left carrier is offset by two degrees. Zooming in on the drawing, we can see that the shaft misalignment within the bearing matches what I'm seeing on my printer. I was a bit worried about this misalignment causing additional wear on the machine. Bamboo Support said the silicone bushing is there just for shipping purposes and it's not necessary. And they told me to print this cover to keep the dirt out. To be fair, I haven't had any print issues that I know of, but it does seem odd to have a brand new printer with a failed part after only 20 hours of use. It also seems odd with modern manufacturing to have something off by several millimeters. I also noticed the Z-axis brass nut is much tighter fit on the left side than on the right side. I contacted Bamboo Support again and they sent me this procedure for realigning the bed to the three bearing carriers. What's not mentioned in the wiki is you want to start this procedure with the bed raised. There are two bolts on each bearing carrier. One of the bolts is covered by this tamper evident sticker. When you loosen the bed, you want to bias it forward towards the door. That increases the clearance between the bed and the poop chute. With the screws removed from the bearing carrier, it's able to pivot and perfectly center the shaft in the bearing. But unfortunately, the hole tolerance is not large enough to get the screws back in. I wasn't about to enlarge these holes, so I just adjusted all three bearing carriers and was able to see some improvement. With everything loose, the shafts naturally want to lay outward from the center of the machine because the belt tension is pushing them out. After completing the procedure, while jogging the Z-axis, the shaft seems slightly better aligned. The shaft no longer contacts the bearing race, so I'm less worried about it being overconstrained and causing additional wear. Since tech support said the silicone bushings are only there for transportation, I'll probably just leave them out. If you have a similar issue with your printer, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.